Today we're gonna to be mixing some cast and craft and then um, three different pigment paste and only one mica powder. So I'm gonna do a small series of puddle pours or ring pours using these exact same colors just to see what types of effects we can get. So as you can see here, I am gonna be mixing these pigment paste and I'm gonna, after I'm done, putting in a little bit of each of the colors, I'll be adding clear resin and then mixing them all really well. So for this one, I'm gonna be pouring directly in the center of the resin mold. So I feel that these work better if you put a little bit of clear, a small layer of clear resin in the bottom of the mold before you start the pour. So this is a pretty sh simple and straightforward pour. So I add my clear resin, heat it up with a heat gun which pops bubbles, and then I'm gonna slowly add little puddles of each color. So it's important when you're doing a puddle pour like this and looking for uh, neat effects that the first layer at least is a transparent color and as you can see I'm only putting a little bit of white in here because I, I need the white to be able to move so it doesn't muddy up the color too much and then I'm putting in um, indicators on on the order of the colors in case you're interested in which order that I had ended up pouring these and <clears throat> a little bit of white and then the clear it's important that when you pour in the clear you make sure that it pushes the resin to the edge of your mold because that does make a difference and here I'm heating it up just a little bit pop bubbles and and when you heat up resin it thins it out so that also helps with the movement of the resin and then I'm going to add the gold on the outside only because gold will tend to take over one of these types of pores so I wanted to see how it ends up looking in the end. And it's as simple as that. And we're gonna let it sit overnight and then we will pop them out of the mold and take a look at them. So this has only been 24 hours and that means it's not fully cured, but they're definitely cured enough to take out of the mold. And I think these look turned out really neat. And what I am going to do or plan to do just for this video, which is completely optional, is to go ahead and do a final clear coat. Um, the, my molds are older, so I, I don't feel like they look as beautiful as they could. So I'm just going to spend some time on them and we will um, sand prep and then I'll show you the final product.
want to say thank you to all my channel members. For anybody who is a member of the channel, they get early release to all of my tutorials before they come out. Um, if you don't want to be a member and you want to help me out and you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe, and hit that bell, and you will get notifications for any new videos I have coming out. And thank you for watching today, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.